exiting this boat that's just moving up and down in choppy, swelling water. Timing is everything. There's always this perception that everything wild is somewhere else. Everything wild is out west or up north. And there's so much adventure to be had just north of Detroit. From here on out, I'm hoping that these boats are gonna grant us safe passage to the ice climb. We went to Bridal Veil and I knew that it was a climb that was over the water and the exposure super wild but I also knew it was something that was in her ballpark. I was not sure if I would be able to take a lead this trip. I top roped it first and I was like, yeah, I, I can lead it. And when I actually pulled onto the sharp end, I was like, oh my God, I am like fully leading. I wasn't that fearful because this concept of being scared of falling just doesn't exist when you're in it. She just cruised it. It was so inspiring to watch. Oh, yes! First ice lead in Michigan. Complete progress. We've had these massive temperature fluctuations and it went from almost frozen over superior to moving water. We had this master plan of exploring these never before climbed ice pillars before rounding the corner to get out of the boat and to climb this pillar. I don't know if you have eyes on the route yet, but it just collapsed right in front of us. We don't want you anywhere near it with the boat. All this stuff, I swear, like you stop alpine climbing, then you think that you're cutting down the risk. If we were any earlier, that might have been us. It's just rugged, man. Shaky. The nature of this style of climbing is that it's not 100% safe. It's just so sobering. Before that, I was probably a little naive to what true dangerous ice climbing can be. And, and this day really sunk in hard because I felt really rattled. Climbing ice of this nature, it being so ephemeral and things changing, you just have to roll with the punches. I feel like it's just a learning curve to climbing here. At the end of the day, coming home is the most important thing. And it can be really hard. You know, you fight with your ego. I was definitely really rattled but I wouldn't want to just be like way too conservative. We're going to hit the reset button. Ice does change a ton and it's always different when you climb it. You just got to know what's good enough to go. Accessing HMR is a big day. We're gonna go in on foot. It is a quintessential U for experience. HMR is a 150 foot smear that's over Lake Superior. It's steep, it's super distinct, and it's absolutely stunning. Just snowshoed up about five miles to the top of HMR. Now we're getting ready to wrap in. When you see HMR for the first time, it's just incredible. It's the gnarliest looking ice line I've seen. trip of first for me like first time driving a snowmobile first time wrapping into a boat first time leading an ice climb so this is my first time climbing with Angela I feel like I've made a new really good friend who is an awesome climbing partner that we're already talking about doing LCAP together 
I'm gonna use my alpine skills to strengthen her alpine climbing, and she's gonna help me with my strength in developing techniques on rocks. It's really exciting. I think she's a honorary Uber for sure. <laughs> <laughs>